Hello. Check out Rose's ceiling. Pretty sweet. We've got white oak TNG that's gone in today, which looks amazing, which is why I wanted to start here so that we could get the lighting right. We've got it covered for a tarp and uh, for the rain. Kind of predicting rain, which sucks a little bit. So everyone was working on this one today and that is how it's going to be finished. Rose has been playing around with the whitewash on these bent rafters, curved rafters, and she's got it just how she likes it. And it looks pretty spectacular if you ask me. On top of that, we're going to put battens, insulation, and then our roof. If you're wondering what's happening with insulation up there. Um, the rest of the day on roses was getting the rest of our rafters in, which was made really difficult by this door stepping in and these being floating and some other stuff that most people won't notice except the builders. It's going to look awesome when it's done, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass right now. Um, this is our kitchen ceiling. Now we're in the bathroom. Over this way we started some electrics because there were some people that started the electrics on Bobby's build and they sort of jumped over here because they were super keen. So we're just rough wiring right now so that we've got some idea of where to, where to go. And that's what happened on roses. We fixed up the strapping a little bit. And we've also got this big lentil or header above this uh, bifold kitchen window that's going in. And there was some concern about some deflection because there's a whole bunch of load, including a bunch of the roof load, right down in the middle of this window. So we added a piece of steel angle and bolted it off. These bifold windows can be really tricky as soon as they're, if they're compromised at all, they're not working. So we just added that little detail. So that was roses today. Uh, we had the plumber come by and do a little prelim measure and he'll be back tomorrow. He wants to bring everyone to check out Tiny Houses. Everyone in his company, that is. Bobby's, we hit up with the rest of the house wrap. So we sorted that stuff out. And then Everett, from Hamilton, who's an awesome young builder, upcoming. Um, did all of our sill flashing, sill tape, um, which then got us to let, let us to install a couple of windows. Um, we've also got uh, stud strap, which is the black line that you see around some of the buildings. Because in New Zealand, we use strapping, um, we don't cover all of the buildings with plywood, then they've got this stud strap which essentially prevents the insulation from pushing out and closing up our cavity batten, which in North America is a rain screen. <clears throat> our siding on this one is vertical, so our cavity batten is running horizontal. And that's why we've got this profile in it, if you can see. There is a space at the back, a notch, and just here. So it's a fluted timber batten. Fluted, I guess, meaning that the rain can drip off. It's also angled right here. So that's cool. On the underside of the window is another thing that's not common in New Zealand. Um, it's a sill support bar. So once we get the windows leveled, squared off, the sill support bar goes in and that holds up the window, keeps it square, all that kind of stuff. Sill tape and the window flashing detail is pretty similar to North America, so we've got it's basically blue skin, this kind of stuff. Uh, we do have a bug screen around there, which is fairly typical everywhere. I think they call it a vermin strip here. And then on the back side, we've got a different material. You'll see that it's green. Um, that's a stud strap, is it? Sill support, yeah. And this is another way to vent uh, and also give a cavity batten um, or, a, or a rain screen. The back wall here is a different material. 
and a different profile off the wall because we're doing it in metal. There's a small deck here coming into the bathroom area. We got our TNG truck deck ceiling done today. There's still some walls to go in here, so when we get back to that side, you'll see that it looks kind of tight, but it's totally fine. Um, and we got some rough wiring done. This is the this is our bathroom light. This is going to be over the sink. Uh, we've got some power in. Like I said, there's a wall going in there. We've got a bunch of feeds coming in over here where our electrical panel is going to be. And we also got our strapping. We did it on the underside of the ceiling here because on the top side we're not as well supported. So it's potential that we could pull our rafters around up and down a little bit. So we do the underside to keep it square. And that let us take the braces off from the inside. We double checked. It's all super square and good. What else? We also added a little bit of steel stud on either side of our skylights. These Velux skylights are big and heavy and so we just wanted to add that extra little bit of support. So we had a laser on the wall. We took a datum point. We got them pushed up a little bit. We screwed them off in an in a engineering pattern and then it let it rest back down. So, feels like we got tons done today, which is good because it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. We'll get the rest of the windows in tomorrow and we'll start on our siding, um, which is going to get this one wrapped up and that one over there will be starting working on the ceiling and our roof metal is being delivered. Um, we've also got a game of whack and nail happening in the background. Hammerschlagen, which is a classic workshop tiny house building game thanks for watching it's monday day six and we'll see where we get to tomorrow see ya